Welcome to the ACHR Newsroom. I'm Maria Taylor, Managing Editor of the ACHR News. The HVAC industry continues to debate what will be the next choice for refrigerants to replace R410A. Johnson Controls becomes the latest major manufacturer to announce this decision. The company selected R454B for its ducted residential and commercial unitary products, as well as air-cooled scroll chillers. R410A is being phased out in favor of refrigerants with less global warming potential. Chris Forth of Johnson Controls said that in addition to reducing environmental impact, R454B is more compatible with existing R410A equipment designs. It also requires less or similar refrigerant charge and can reduce energy usage for an HVAC system. Carrier already announced its intention to use R454B as its primary lower GWP solution. This will replace R410A in all of its ducted residential and light commercial package solutions sold in North America. Daikin has committed to using R32 in its ducted and ductless light residential, light commercial, and applied products. Prosecutors in Pennsylvania are cracking down on contractors over wage issues. They are using existing laws to bring criminal charges against contractors and even contracting firms. Contractor Scott Good, owner of Good Co. in State College, Pennsylvania, faces at least four months in jail after pleading guilty to violating the state's prevailing wage laws. Good was charged with having skilled laborers record portions of their work hours as lower paid laborers. This was the first criminal case concerning those laws. Good Co. will pay a $10,000 fine. Earlier this year, a Pennsylvania district attorney charged a roofing business with a criminal count of misclassifying workers. Not the contractor, but the firm itself. That's been a criminal offense in Pennsylvania since 2011, but this is the first such prosecution. The Biden administration is paying a lot of attention to the HVAC industry. As part of a host of energy and buildings related initiatives, the Department of Energy unveiled a program to accelerate the adoption of smart diagnostic tools by the HVAC industry. The campaign will provide a platform for learning more about these tools. It will also offer information on incentives to pay for them. There are also plans to highlight contractors demonstrating success and improvement in this area. Environmental issues are a main focus of the new administration, and HVAC manufacturers are being invited to be a part of the solution. In April, Johnson Controls CEO George Oliver was a speaker at the Virtual Leaders Summit on Climate. In May, Mita's CEO Mark Kuntz participated in a virtual roundtable as part of the Better Buildings, Better Plants Summit. Another focus for the president is job creation and expanding opportunities by offering two years of tuition-free community college. To promote that idea, President Biden recently visited the HVAC laboratory at Tidewater Community College in Virginia. Instructor Harlan Krepek told the president how learning HVAC skills creates a durable competitive advantage in the job market. ACHR News editorial director Kyle Gargaro recently spoke with Matt Smith a financial advisor with Morgan Stanley, about how to sell an HVAC business. Smith said HVAC contractors need to prepare for the emotional side of selling their business. The biggest downside is typically not financial in nature. It is uh, purely emotional. And if you think about it, uh, these are individuals who've spent their lifetime uh, in the trade, building a business, creating a family in that business, uh, having a place to go every day, having uh, people that uh, look up to them, admire them. It's not just employees, but uh, vendors and customers. Uh, a sense of purpose, excitement. There's risk, which is also fun. And after the sale, uh, there's this almost letdown. You know, you look forward to it. And we, they always talk about the fishing trip or improving their golf game or spending more time with the grandkids. Uh, but ultimately you wake up and after a few weeks, you realize that sense of purpose might be gone. So you really have to be ready emotionally for a completely new chapter in your life. And that's the first thing that I always talk to when I'm talking to owners. The financial aspect is, of course, crucial. And Smith said contractors need to know why they're selling and what they plan to do with the proceeds. To make sure HVAC contractors get the money they need and set a realistic price, they should consult a professional. What I always recommend is bring in a professional of some kind and it, you'll be almost always surprised either high or low as to what you could actually sell your business for if you if you ran that process today. Uh, they're good investment bankers and we're not talking about New York Wall Street types uh, wherever you are in the market. Uh, they're really good local investment bankers who specialize in the trades and who will know about other transactions. And when you say, look, I, I just, I, I got 10 more trucks and I added a, 
uh, a whole region, they're going to know exactly what that's valued out in the marketplace. To hear more of this conversation and read more stories, please visit achrnews.com. I'm Maria Taylor. Thank you for watching.